within the next decade or so, we are going to pass a number of tipping points beyond which it's going to be very difficult to recover. Reckless burning of fossil fuels, the destruction of the forests, pollution of the ocean. How is it possible that the most intellectual being that ever walked the planet is destroying its only home? Since 1970s, we lost 60% of vertebrate species. If we look at insects, we lost 80%. As we lose species, what we also lose is the capacity of the natural systems to really provide the services that allow us to function. One of the consequences of living in great cities, in great masses, is that we are cut off from that natural world. If you lose that sense of wonder, you've lost one of the most important things in your life. The human race produces more waste than it really should. We only recycle 9% of all plastic. That means that unless it's been burnt, every single piece of plastic ever made still exists. The crisis of biodiversity with climate change, it's interlocked with many other global crises that we are seeing. Migration and climate refugees, political crisis and perhaps a moral crisis. We've stolen our children's future, we're still stealing it and we must get together now. When I first started the school strike for the climate, I never would have imagined that it was going to be this big. It's over 100,000 children from all around the world. The consumer has to be the one that forces everyone's hand to say, I will not buy from you unless you have a sustainability policy and a clear transparency on the whole supply chain of the product that I'm buying. We're now seeing a real increase in the number of collaborations and partnerships, creating extraordinary coalitions and setting ambitious targets to get us on the right path in line with what the science is telling us. Employees have a responsibility to demand a better value system from corporations and that's one way to pressure leaders to take a stand and say that they're going to be committed to the environment. It just comes down to all leaders of all organizations recognizing far-reaching implications for how this can truly help to have an impact in the world. Never compromise. What you're doing today will have an impact on the planet for thousands and thousands of years. There has been no species that has been remotely clever or ingenious than Homo sapiens. Let us live up to that name. We need wisdom to actually find the solution and then courage to back it.